Hey everybody, what's going on? I am bored right now. I am very, very bored. This is December. This is Southern California. This is zone 10. And around this time of year, gardening kind of slows down for us. You know, a lot of plants just go, just don't do anything. Nothing's really growing. So I don't have too much to do. And I'm getting kind of bored. So I figured we should try a fun experiment. Check this out. Look, there's a bunch of avocado seeds. All of these are reed avocado seeds, except this one, this is a Mexico La Grande seed. All these seeds came from the same tree, which is that tree right over there. So I'm gonna do a little experiment. We're gonna test, we're gonna plant these seeds in different kind of scenarios, different situations to see how these seeds respond, to see how they grow best. And some of these seeds have been sitting in water for a long time and they're starting to sprout. Look at those, those are roots. And there's a little mini, very mini avocado tree. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So this is like begging to get planted somewhere. This thing needs to go in the ground and it's a good uh so right now the weather is mid 60s during the day fahrenheit and then drops to the 40s so it's not the most ideal time to plant avocado seeds we're gonna that's another test we're gonna expose it to our coldest months which is december and january and today's december 18th so we're gonna these are gonna get exposed to cold a little cold for us relatively right so let's get started we got one gallon pots here different kinds of soil. I'm gonna test different kinds of soil here. This is decomposed granite, 100% decomposed granite. This is peat moss mixed with perlite. This is paver sand. It's builder sand, it's like construction worker sand. It's basically sand without any salt in it. And then this is the standard potting soil that you can get at any big box store. When you go to a big box store, it's, those, it's that potting soil that comes in those colorful, colorful bags outdoor potting soil. Let's read the ingredients here. Let's find out the ingredients are right here. Recycled forest products, aged rice hulls, composted poultry manure, perlite, peat moss, hydrolyzed feather mule, dehydrated poultry manure, dolomite, oyster shell limes, bat guano, kelp meal, worm castings. Wow, this, this like could make really good uh, this would be, that would be really good fertilizer, but they sell it as potting soil. So let's see what happens. Let's, of course, again, experimental video and see what happens. All right, we'll plant it, each of them in there. So I, I thoroughly put a lot of water onto all these soils before this video, before this part. And now, so these are nice, wet. And now I'm gonna put the seeds in and cover it ever so slightly. Just a very thin layer, a very thin layer of, uh, so let's go here. Let's do the decomposed granite, which is still kind of wet. The water hasn't drained through, but that's okay. We'll cover that slightly. Push it down a little bit, cover it with the soil. Take another seed. This is the peat moss with a little bit of perlite. Cover that. Slightly. And then we'll take this big boy and we'll put it right here in the sand, the paver sand. Wow, the sand is so, it's hard to move it. There you go, make a little indentation. Cover it, oh, it's not even covered. Let me dig even deeper. This is like beach sand, but no salt. All right. Basically what I do, this is my go-to method here plastic wrap I take some plastic wrap I cover the container I cover the container I take some rubber bands take a rubber band wrap it over and just like that you have a little mini greenhouse a self-contained small little greenhouse that will keep moisture in and keep it in. When you do it like this, you don't have to water, constantly water your, your container. You could stay, it, it could stay without any, without any water. I'm gonna do the same to all these and they'll all go into the shade and to the same spot to keep the conditions same because we're testing the soil, all right? Uh, let's do it. And we'll keep it there. This is a bright area, but there's no direct sun hitting it. If direct sun hits it, it can cook the, the little seed in there with the, that has the plastic on top, it creates, it gets really hot in there with the plastic on top. Once these start to grow, 
we take the plastic off and we start watering no like normal all right so that we now is the hard part now is the part that i hate it's the patience game i have to wait a few months to see what it's happens. all fun and games all right so there it is guys all right guys we're back we're here now in may it's been about five months and let's take a look at the results let's see how these little seedlings did is the first one that's planted in the the big box store standard potting soil that you can find at any big box store and this is what it looks like it's grown out now it's about almost a foot of growth and it's pretty cool to see because you could see not only is one sprout but there's another sprout a tiny little sprout that came out uh right next to it and then i just noticed right here here's another sprout that is pretty cool sometimes uh reed avocado seeds do this they will shoot out multiple sprouts and this is great because we can graft onto each and every one of these little sprouts and have a multi-grafted tree it's pretty nice and then next over here is the decomposed granite this was the seed grown in decomposed granite that's what it looks like it's got again two shoots got sprouted out and then we have not the best growth it's about almost less than a foot it's about eight inches and and then so that's what that looks like the next one <laughs> check it out this is the one that's in paver sand paver sand it did not do well it sprouted out a little bit dried out but it's still alive check it out there's two tiny tiny little sprouts coming out this should be another multiple sprout seedling it's pretty nice to see and then we have the champion the one that did the best this is the one that's planted in the peat moss and perlite it's grown out fantastically it's got mature leaves leaves that are quite large and it's got a good stalk on it it's about pencil thickness a little bit over a foot high and so this peat moss has done real real well and i'm very impressed and surprised by these results to be fair to be fair to this experiment right we have to be full fairness these two the decomposed granite and the paper sand were completely neglected by me i didn't water these as consistently so I'm actually more impressed with these two results, the two middle ones. I'm impressed by the fact that they're alive because I wasn't able to take care of them as well as I was able to take care of these two, the one in the regular potting soil and the one in the peat moss, okay? So I just want to show you guys those results. Of course, that's just one experiment. I have a lot more experiment, experiments coming up. Uh, it's pretty fun. It's pretty interesting. All right, folks. So uh, if you like this video, give me, give me one of these, a thumbs up, subscribe. Leave me a comment. Let me know how you're growing your avocados. And as always, thank you for watching. Bye.